Hi, and welcome to Brems to Puzzles, a channel where I try and showcase the fun that can be had in the world of variant Sudoku. And this is a very variant Sudoku, because some people say this isn't really a Sudoku. This is a Quattro Quadri by Mayer called Wave. Um, this puzzle has been posted to both Logic Masters Germany. I'm not sure if it was classified as a Sudoku there. Um, and it was also part of a puzzle pack, which um, Mayer put out of Quattro Quadri puzzles. Um, and I'll link to both Logic Masters Germany and to that below. If you've never seen Quattro Quadri before, there is a playlist on my channel of Quattro Quadri, many of which were created by Maya, um, and I'm looking forward to giving this one a try. Um, yeah, let's just get straight into it. So what is a Quattro Quadri? So in a Quattro Quadri, we have to place the digits 1 to 9 once each to... Uh, once each into each of the three by three bo uh, boxes and you may not repeat digits in the same row or column or box because you have to um, you these are nine cells with no repeats but you can't repeat um, digits in the rows or columns but there's only six columns and six rows so we don't know what digits have to appear in each row or column um, so quattro quadri is a bit weird that way because you can't use normal sudoku we can't turn around and say what digit are we missing from a row or column we can from a box Okay, the blue and purple lines um, are both Renban lines and region sum lines, and must so that each of these lines must form a set of consecutive digits in any order without repetition. So, for example, on this line here, it could be one, two, three, or two, three, four, because they would be a set of consecutive digits. Um, but we couldn't, for example, go two, three, five, because two, three, five is not a set of consecutive digits. If you were to take them off and sort them, they need to be a run of digits. Um, and also, um, box borders divide each line into segments with the same sum. So for example, um, on this line here, this is one uh, segment of the line, this is a different segment of the line, and this is a different segment of the line, because the boxes where they cross it from one box to another, it splits it into a different segment, and each of the digits in these segments must have the same sum. So the digits here will have the same sum as the digits here have the same sum as the digits here. That'll be interesting. We've also got crop key pairs, so cells separated by a white dot must be consecutive, cells separated by a black dot must be in a 2 to 1 ratio. They're the rules. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. I think this is where I want to start, because what could this digit be? So those two digits, which have to be consecutive with that, have to sum to that digit. Now, I'm sure there's a mathematical way of doing this, but um, it is the sum of at least two digits, so it's at least three, but I don't think it could be anything other than three, because if this is four, these would have to be consecutive with four and lower than four, because it's two digits summing to four, but the minimum they could, they then have to be three and two, which sums to higher than four. Um, if this was five, these would have to be consecutive and lower than five, which means they'd be four and three, and the difference is getting even higher. These are seven, which is two higher. So basically... I'm, I'm not even sure what the mathematical way, mathematical way of doing this is. This has to be a three, and these have to be one, two. And that can't be a two. because uh, Sorry, a one. If this was a one, then these this would have to be a two. But we've already... But if this is a one, this is a two. So this is a two, this is a one. This has to be consecutive with two, and it can't be a one. So this is a three. Okay, so we've got to start. We also know what is on this line. This is for, uh, on this, this is 4-8. And the reason for that is what can go on a black dot. Because on a black dot, um, you can only put, because we're working with the digits one to nine, you can only put a low digit and it's even double. One can double to two, two can double to four, three can double to six, four can double to eight. But one to three doesn't work. Five can't double to 10. So we're limited to those digits and we don't have one, two, three available. This is 4-8. So let's look at this line, because that section, that section, and that section. If this was 3, 8, I think we have a problem, because 3 and 8 sum to 11. So this would have to sum to 11, this would have to sum to 11. Now, theoretically, that's possible. Is it possible? Because it would be 3, 8, 4, 7, oh no, 3, 8, 4, 7, 5, 6 actually works. 3, 4 doesn't work, because then I'd need to make these sum to 7. Actually, that might work as well, because I could do 3, 4, 1, 6, and 2, 5, and it'd be a 1 through 6 line. Oh, they both work. That is unexpected. So what are these? So these are from 
five, six, seven, and nine. And these must be consecutive. So there's no nine here. There is a nine in one of those two. Whichever one of these lines has a nine on it is nine counting down. So for example, if this line had the nine on it, we would know the sum of the line, which would be nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Now nine, nine down to four. Okay, let's think about this from the perspective because there's no repeats on it. Let's think of it from the perspective of all of the digits one to nine sum to 45, if you put them together. We'd be removing one through one to three, because it'd be nine counting down to four. So we'd be removing six and the line would sum to 39. 39 divided by three, because the line would have three sections. 39 divided by three is uh, 13. So we'd have to go nine, four here and we can't do it. So this isn't the nine, this is the nine. Okay, let's hope the math here works because now we're working with, actually let's, is the math here gonna work? There must be a six on this because there must be an even digit on a consecutive dot. Is the math here going to work or have I already broken it? Because this is nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Nine down to three is 45 minus three, which is 42. 42 divided by three is 13. No, wait, 42 divided by three is 14 because 10 times three is 30, four times three is 12, is, is 14. So this is nine, five, this is the six, this is the seven. So this line sums to 13 and this line sums to 14. So these have to sum to 13, but it's given me the sum of these lines. And they're the only ones that count because these are just Ren Ben because the sum, this, this doesn't cross a, a box region border, so it really doesn't matter. Though I sing this song from Radagora, it really doesn't matter, 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 matter. Okay, so these have to sum to 14. Minimum here is four. So those have a maximum sum of 10. Is this the way to do this? Or is it here, 13? Which would be four, no, well, hang on. I, I know what these digits are. Nine, eight, seven, six, four. And those have to sum to 14. Well, I can't include a seven because seven, seven doesn't work. And if I include a four, I'd need a 10. So this is eight, six, taking eight, six out of, hang on. Oh, no, no, I needed a three. Let's undo all of that. Let's remove those and I need to add a three to this. Now, I still can't do, right, these have to sum to 14. So I can't use a three because I'd need an 11. I can't use a four, I'd need a 10. And I can't use a seven, I would need another seven. So this is six, eight, and I take six, eight out of here. This is three, four, seven. And which is seven plus three is 10 plus four, that does work. Now this one can't be a three because a three here would break Sudoku. But these are three, four, and seven. Excellent. But now these need to sum to 13 because seven and six is 13. Well, I can't use nine, four. I could use eight, five. I can't use seven, six. So this is five, eight. Okay. So what can this be? It could be one, two. It can't be two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, or eight, nine. This is one, two. It has to be one, two because I need to put an even digit on it. Uh, what's the best way of explaining? Hang on, three. Okay, let's look at odd digits, actually. I need to put an odd digit on it. I can put a one on it. I can't put three. I can't put five and I can't put seven on it. If I put a nine on it, I'd need an eight, which isn't available. So it must have a one and a one automatically needs a two. So this is one, two, three, four, five. These are six and nine. And the six makes this the nine and this the six. And I could have used the six, eight for the same reason. That hasn't broken this open yet. 
this has to be consecutive with six or eight. So it's five, seven, or nine, and it can't be nine. This is five or seven. This is really good, but I'm... Have I got my math wrong up here? If this is three, eight, these sum to 11, and these would need to sum to 11. And it'd be three, these would be four, five, six, seven. Hang on, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven, four, and five, six works. The six would be there. Ah, I couldn't do it. This can't be three, eight. If this is three, eight, these sum to 11. But how would I make this sum to 11? Because this would be three, eight. One would be seven, four. I could do seven, four there, couldn't I? No, one of them would need to be five, six. If this was three, eight, one of them would need to be five, six to get to 11. I can't put five, six here because of that six. And I can't put five, six here because that can be neither five or six. This is a, f no, not both. This is a four and this is an eight and these sum to seven. So I can never put anything as high as a seven on the line. These are one, two, three, four, five, and six. So this can't be a five or a six. This is a one or a two. One goes with six and two goes with five. So this is one, two, five, six. This doesn't have a six. So this isn't the one, six. This is the two, five. This is the one, six. That's really clever. This is two, five, meaning that's seven, which allows that to be either six or eight. So what's the purpose of that dot? Or oh, to give me this triple because I have to put a one in here. So this is two and one, and these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, four, nine. So there's no four there. Nine is not consecutive with either two or five. The one and the six looks now, making that the eight and that six. There's no one here. Ah, f black dot. Five can never go on a black dot. Half of five is two and a half and double is 10. That's the two, that's the five. The five makes that the four, which makes that the nine, which makes that the one. Something, ah, the seven makes this the three, which takes three out of there. The seven makes this the four, which is consecutive with five, which makes this the eight and this the seven. Now I need to complete this. And it's not just a gimme, because I, even though I've only got one box left, I don't know what digits need to go into the, the rows and columns. Now, two can't go in any of those or there. Don't think that's what I'm looking at. Let's try something else. Three is in here. So, well, two can only go next to one or four, and one's not available. So that's a four. So these have to be consecutive with four and they can't include a five. So these have to go down from four and these are three and two, and the two means that's the three and that's the two. Now, one, two, three, four, these are five, seven, eight, nine, but five is not consecutive with either seven, eight, nine. So there's no five there, that's the five. The seven is looking up saying that's not the seven. The eight, nine looks up actually making that the seven. These are the eight and nine, and the eight looks across making that the nine, that the eight, beautiful. Beautiful puzzle. Now, this is 242 days old. As I said, this was in a pack that was published quite a while ago, but this is really good. I keep saying puzzles don't need to be, you know, an hour long to be interesting. And my evidence, Wave by Maya. Great puzzle, Maya, Maya, I'm not sure, but beautiful puzzle. All I know, beautiful puzzle. I like it. Um, hopefully you do too. And that's what matters. Thanks everyone for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.